and welcome back. Today I was planning on, and actually still am planning, on having a play with this module. I received this in a previous post bag and it was described as a laser receiver module and on the board there is a part number which says DS18B20 which according to Google is a temperature sensor. Now this is clearly not a temperature sensor but I couldn't really find what it is and that was one of the two questions I had what is it and does it work well the first one does it work I can answer that uh, yes and I'll show you in a minute but what it actually is I have no idea I did however take a picture of the back and kind of reversed engineered it at least the circuit which is not really difficult because there's only like four components on there so let me do that first so there's three pins on one side and a female header on the other side on the male header there's three connections there's VCC there's the out and there's ground and across VCC and ground there is a capacitor which is a 100 nanofarad capacitor there's also a resistor and a LED let's draw some circles which is a 10k resistor and this is an LED and then at the end there's the sensor which I'm just gonna draw as a block like this because I have no idea what it is VCC in one end ground on the other and then the output which is one of these pins that goes to the output and is pulled up by a 10k resistor is that readable kinda now the first question becomes how do I plug this in because I can plug it in this way but I could also plug oops I can also plug it in that way now the middle pin of course stays the same but the two outer pins I have no idea so what I did and that's maybe not the best way to do it but it worked for me is just to hook it up to my power supply set a current limit of I think I set it to like 10 milliamps or something because there's just an LED 10k resistor 5 volts so it shouldn't draw much more than that and if it drew more than that I probably have this the wrong way around luckily I had it right the first time which is this way up with the little dome towards the mail header so like this now if you look at the sensor itself it's still not clear to me what it is um, I took some pictures on the microscope and if you look at it from the side you can see some bond wires in there and if you hold it at a different angle there's a hint of a chip in there now to test if this actually works I a while ago already bought this laser pen which is just one of these pens with a little laser pointer and my plan is to point it at the thing and see if it detects if there's a laser present while I was buying this laser pen by the way I thought it might also be a good idea to buy some protection so I bought these glasses but I don't really think they work because when I shine a light through it let me see if I can do that 
it's clearly that most of it passes through. There's some reflection over there, but most of it just passes right through. And I looked at the listing again, and it says it blocks light between 190 nanometers up to 1200 nanometers. Now that should have been a red light for me because the visible light is between 400 and 700 nanometers which would have meant you wouldn't be able to see anything through these goggles. Even though this probably won't work as well as it should I'm just gonna wear it just in case. So the first thing I have to do is to hook this up. Let me move this out of the way. And I have my power supply with just some jumper wires attached to it. Purple looks the most like red, so that's VCC. White is ground and this is then the output. I have hooked the output of the module up to my oscilloscope. So I'll plug in the sensor, which is kind of fiddly, but, it, but eventually it will go in. At least it did. Don't ever do these things on camera. It's not a nice fit, but it fits. And when I turn on the output of the power supply, the LED comes on. So there is the LED indicating that there's power. And if you look at the oscilloscope, it's a two volt per division. So we're at one, two and a half divisions. That's five volts. So it's high, meaning it's detecting something. Now I'm not pointing a laser at it at the moment. Now this module is quite sensitive to all light because when I block it, you can see the signal goes low and when I release it, the signal goes high again. And I figured out that holding a piece of well, in this case, it's cardboard in front of it blocks most of the light, but still leaves a little gap for me, which I made myself, of course, it wasn't already there for the laser to shine through. So if I hold it like this and then shine the laser through the hole in the cardboard, it actually detects that. And I can make a nice square wave pattern, maybe even send a message. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, I have no idea what this is. If someone can tell me what it is, uh, please do so in the comments below because I'm really curious. The only thing I found was a reference to something called ISO 203 which at first I thought was some kind of ISO standard but it's not so maybe that's the name of this sensor I'm really curious thanks for watching if you like this video you know what to do and I hope to see you next time bye bye